Hi, this is Molly and I'm here for another episode of Ask the Experts. Today let's talk about lawn fertilization. It's definitely time to be thinking about fertilizing your lawn and getting some fertilizer out. Um, we at Backbone Valley recommend a good uh, all-purpose organic fertilizer, one with a really good analysis. Um, why go organic? We're not going organic because we're hippies. We're going organic because it is definitely the best for your overall health of your lawn and your and the soil web, which makes uh, for a, a better maintained lawn in the long run. I'm sure you can use the synthetic fertilizer and get it green real fast, but that is in and out of the soil web quickly. It sort of nukes all of your soil microbiology and prevents um, you from having a long-term healthy lawn. So let's forget those synthetic fertilizers and let's just go organic. Um, we, we carry several options for you. Uh, we've got the MicroLife uh, fertilizers in uh, several different formulations, all suited for this area. What we love about these fertilizers is they are non-burning, they contain iron and sulfur, they've got, uh, they're chock full of microorganisms like mycorrhizae fungi and beneficial bacteria, so that helps to bolster the, the overall health of the lawn and the soil web. Um, they're easy to use. They're granular. You put it in a spreader and walk your lawn, and uh, they're non-burning. So if your spreader is accidentally set for the wrong drop and it, you put out a little too much, fear not, you're not going to burn up your lawn. Um, there are many, uh, there are several formulations. Uh, there's an all-purpose there's what is called an azalea formula. Don't let that deceive you. It's not just for, for azalea shrubs. Um, we like this because it's a 14% sulfur and 2% iron um, analysis, so it's excellent for the lawn. Uh, we have actually used this and have had great results. Um, we've got uh, what's called MicroLife Brown Patch. What the Brown Patch has is a, an extra inoculum of those beneficial uh, mycorrhizae fungi and beneficial bacteria that the those are the good guys that help combat the bad guys and help alleviate the fungal problems. We're lucky we've had kind of a nice uh, spring this spring, a little rain, not too much, so we're not seeing a whole lot of fungal problem. But if you are, if you have a dip in your lawn, um, if there's um, extra irrigation that is beyond your control and things stay wet, that might be a really good choice for you to help stave off any fungal infections. Um, we also have humates, which are a, an excellent source of um, nutrient for the lawn. And we've got a great product called uh, Bush Doctor Micro Brew. Micro Brew is not a fertilizer per se. It does have a small analysis, but it's a soil activator. This is chock full. Um, you can see on the label all of the species of uh, fungus and bacteria, the, the good guys that go into this product. Um, it's excellent to put on your lawn. Um, we also have a uh, liquid fertilizer. If, you, if you're not interested in using a granular fertilizer, it's perfectly fine to use a liquid fertilizer. You can put it in a sprayer and spray that out on your lawn. The John's Recipe is a really great choice. We also have another Lady Pug uh, product called Teratonic, which is good for your lawn to, again, bolster that microbiology. I've said that a lot, uh, bolster your microbiology. Why is that important? Well, um, the, the good fungus and bacteria prey on the bad, so that's one reason. But the, the um, microbes also uh, affix themselves to the roots of the grass and will help with processing and uptaking nutrient. Without a good soil web, um, and just using synthetic fertilizers, you're kind of just giving the lawn a little shot in the arm and it kind of declines and you give it a shot in the arm and it declines. By using a good, well-rounded organic fertilizer with the microbiology in it, you have improved the whole ecosystem and are creating a better environment for the lawn to grow in the first place. So that is definitely the way, the way we go. Um, a couple other fun things for the lawn. We have these Nelson sprinklers. This is the best sprinkler I've ever used. There's, it's one piece, there's no moving parts. Um, they effectively water the lawn. Uh, they're great for running in the sprinkler, which I'm a big fan of. And you can run over these with a lawnmower and they might ding your lawnmower blades, but the sprinkler itself will not be hurt. So we do have these Nelson sprinklers, which are, are really great. Um, 
also, if you think, you, if you've had problems with fungal issues on your lawn in the past and are, are worried about that being a problem again this year, you can take the proactive step of using Actinovate. Um, Actinovate is um, Streptomyces lyticus. It's a bacteria that will combat the fungal infection in a natural way. Um, we have this available in a powder. You mix it with water and spray it on the lawn. It's not a chemical it's safe to use, you know, for pets and kids and all that, that good stuff. So a little, a little prevention if you typically have problems with, with things like uh, brown patch and, and fungal infections in, in the lawn. Um, tried and true, we have the ladybug fertilizer the uh, Ladybug 824, and um, this is also a very popular organic fertilizer. It's Again, it's a granular. You drop it in a spreader and, and walk your lawn with it, and so it's easy to put out. Um, the nice thing about these organics, again, is that they don't burn. So uh, if you're a little late getting your fertilizer out, fear not. You can, you can still use these. The synthetic fertilizers, if you put them out at too high of a temperature, they, they have, you risk burning your lawn. So, but but not, not the case with these guys. They're much safer to use. Um, we have, um, Texas A&M University recommends um, that you do a, a half pound of nitrogen per thousand square feet. Um, we do all of the math for you, for you, so you don't have to figure out, uh, figure that out. If you just come in and tell us how big your your lawn is, we can tell you how how many bags of fertilizer you're you're going to need. Um, it, uh, it used to be calculated at a much higher rate. Um, generally, the guideline is you want two pounds of nitrogen per year on your lawn. So, uh, if you go with the half pound of nitrogen per thousand square feet. Um, formulation, you would be applying lawn fertilizer four times a year. And again, that's a, a good reason to use the organics because if you, it's kind of a little bit at a time, a little bit over a long, longer period of time. So you have this continuous feed instead of these big spikes of feeding spring and fall. And the organics again, don't burn. So they, they um, allow you to, to do that. So, um, if you have questions about your lawn, um, just come down, let us know what kind of grass you have and, and what your approximate square footage is. We can steer you towards the right formula and we will be happy to answer any questions you have. So that's basically it. Uh, again, we are always here for you and we'll um, get you towards the right fertilizer. So for another episode of Ask the Experts, this has been Molly and have a great week.